Hey guys, Lee from Galaxy Reviews here with yet another video, finally. Sorry for the delay guys, it's, I feel like it's been gone forever. I've been going through a move which has not gone as planned and I'm actually still waiting for some stuff. Which is why you might hear the audio, sounds a bit off for this one. I don't have a mic, I don't even have a desktop computer, everything is still um, being moved from my old location and it's just been a headache. But anyway, that being said, I wanted to, you know, get back into it and get some unboxings that I've been planning for a while now out of the way. So I finally have that up and running so, you know, you can get at least some things into the channel so it doesn't kind of get forgotten or to the side. <laughs> anyway, that being said, as you can see, this is a pretty cool unboxing that we have here. I found this uh, collector's box, Breath of the Wild, over at Target. Not sure how long it's been uh, available. This is actually the first time I've seen it. Uh, one at the store and I just had to get it. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty cool box overall. It's actually pretty huge. Um, and we can see it has a few things included. A messenger bag, journal and pen, water bottle, a bento style snack box, a pin set, and then some decals, which is pretty cool. Um, it did have some plastic wrapping, which I went ahead and removed before the video so that we can get that part of the way. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, let's go ahead and remove this thing right here. And you know, before I go ahead and unbox it, there's really not much going on. You can see a reflection there, but uh, the box is pretty much all pure black. Just has, you know, link on either side and that's about it. Nothing on the back. Let's go ahead and open this up. Wow, okay, we got a, quite a few things as we kind of saw in the beginning. So we have a little coupon, I guess, for uh, Culture Fly. I haven't heard of them before, but pretty cool they included this coupon. All right, so first things first, we have the uh, Bento style box. Uh, let's see, let's open this up. Let's add some tape here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and break this open just for sake of simplicity. Well, I said I would break it open, but here I am removing the uh, <laughs> the tape and that should be enough. All right, so it actually looks just like Link's tablet in Breath of the Wild. Ooh, unfortunately, there, you know, there's some scratches, but it's plastic, what can you expect? And the box has pretty much, you know, been beaten, probably. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open that up. Nothing inside, but you know, it's pretty cool if you wanna take some snacks to your work or school. I think it's awesome. But there's really not much else to it. <laughs> Pretty simple style bento box. Let's go ahead and seal that back up. Next we have a pen. They call it the Divine Beast Retractable Ballpoint Pen. Um, super simple to remove, that's about it. And let's see if I can focus here on the design. Come on. Camera's failing me. <laughs> well, I can't get it to focus. Hopefully you guys can see that from a little further away. I think it's probably because it wants to focus on the box. But it just has all the Divine Beast symbols across the pen. Oh, there we go. So I think that looks really nice. Nope, there we go. I think it looks awesome. Pretty simple, pretty stylish. I like it. Let's put that to the side again. Next up, we have the journal. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up and see if the pages have any special designs to them. Oh wow, just right off the bat, it has that fall leather look. Feels really nice, looks really nice. Oh, we do have kind of some Breath of the Wild maps world maps on the first page and then yep it does have a you know the shield logo on there Hyrule shield logo and the Triforce down at the bottom and that's about it yep same design across the whole journal and then I think this is yeah it's the same design as this in the front we also got that in the back and the back nothing really going on besides the uh, Zelda logo, and then of course the Culture Fly, Fly logo. Really nice, I like it. All right, moving along. 
we have the uh, champion pincet. Okay, so we can't see it without opening it up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we have the uh, pin set. Looking really nice. We have all four champions. Let me see if I can get that to focus a little bit so you can see that up close. There we go. I think it looks really nice. It, they do look, you know, pretty simple. I kind of wish they're a little bit more elaborate, but it just seems like you know, it's just some easy print on the pins. Um, but, you know, it gets the job done. It's really nice and I think it looks really cool. But I am worried that, you know, they could fade pretty easily. Hopefully they've got, you know, good quality paint on them so that they don't fade as easily if, you know, you get them scratched or anything like that on your backpack. But other than that, pretty cool. I like it. All right, moving along. Let's give the best for last. <laughs> we got the uh, water bottle. Let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so it's got some nice padding. Oh wow, okay, okay. I like this a lot. It looks really nice. Now one thing I don't like though, <laughs> is this is silicone on it and you can kind of see it right here, right with protective silicone sleeve. And I think that's the only Zelda themed item. It is really hard to remove. I don't want to break it. I'm just going to leave it as is. So you can kind of see a little bit there that it does have like the, the warnings to not microwave and stuff like that. I don't know if this is removable. Other than that, I think it just looks like a glass bottle and that's about it. Yeah, no other logos or anything that I can see at least besides the sleeve. But be very careful. Um, if you're gonna give these to a, a child or anything like that, it is glass. So if it is dropped, it will definitely break. But I like it, I like the wooden style cap. I don't think it's actual wood. I think it's probably just plastic from what I can tell. But uh, I really do like the overall design. I think it looks really elegant. I like it and that's about it. All right, let's move on to the backpack. All right, so we have the backpack. Oh, I almost forgot, right? We have decals too. Let's look at the decals first. So we have the decals. You have obviously all four champions again. I find it quite interesting though. There's no reference to Link. This uh, collector's box just focuses on the champions, which I think is, is cool, right? Link gets a ton of attention anyway. <laughs> um, but I find it interesting that you know, it just focuses on them. Okay, and that's about it, just some precautions and that's it. You can probably, you know, paste these anywhere like at a laptop or probably like a whole, well, hold up. Oh, actually, no, never mind. It seems this is one whole sticker. I thought it was for individual stickers, but no, it's just one huge sticker with all four champions on it. Uh, so definitely wouldn't, probably wouldn't fit in a water bottle <laughs> unless it's, you know, it's pretty big. Um, so you may want to put this like a, a, with a, on a computer, probably like a notebook or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty it's pretty big, as you can kind of see by, by my hand, right? It's it's a pretty big decal, so you'll definitely need quite a bit of space uh, to paste it on something. But pretty cool overall. I like it. The quality looks, again, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You know, it's not holographic or anything like that. Um, so again, I do have some worry that it could fade easily if it rubs quite a bit, especially if you put it like on a notebook or something like that. Um, so just kind of be, uh, be careful with that. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the backpack. Oops, holding it upside down. But it doesn't even fit in the uh, frame here. <laughs> Uh, but this is the backpack right here. Uh, actually, I think it's a good chance to, to close up on it a little bit. But it's a pretty decent sized backpack. Let me see if I can move the camera a bit. It's a pretty decent sized backpack. As you can see, it's kind of medium sized. 
but I think you can definitely fit quite a bit, especially if it's just for school, for school, right? Like notebooks, stuff like that. The bento box, I think it should fit really nicely. Uh, but it definitely is not huge by any means. Uh, so you need to carry like pretty heavy books, quite a few books, or anything like that that's really thick. It definitely will not fit, probably. All right, guys, so here's kind of a quick shot of everything that's included in the box. Well, kind of everything, right? Like I said, the backpack doesn't fit in the frame. I definitely need to get a, a new camera with a wide angle lens or something. Uh, but it's pretty much everything, right? I think it's a really great collector's edition box if you just want you know, some basic stuff you can kind of use. Um, on your daily life as well as just for decorative reasons. I think it's a really good collector's edition or collector's box because of that. All right guys, other than that, let me know what you guys think about the collector's box. Is it something you would like to, to get for yourself? Do you think it's something that's just not worth the money? Let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious to see if you think this is all worth it um, or if not. Other than that, I do have some additional videos coming up really soon. I want to get back into the flow as I always say. So definitely look out for those videos. Until next time guys, definitely appreciate the, uh, the support. Be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time.